Hey everyone, I'm Matt with Ozark Overland Adventures and I'm currently in a spot in the Ozark National Forest that I've never been before. Uh, I'm up on a, a little hill. On the map it's called Cedar Mountain. It's at a whopping, I think, 960 feet elevation. But I, I, I've never been here before. Um, the views here are, I mean, they're what you expect from a 900 foot elevation. Uh, pretty nice. Not not bad views um, that way, yeah, not, not bad. Um, but it would be a great little spot to camp if you're if you're in the area. I am on the in the very, I mean very tip southeast corner of the Ozarks today, and this is a this is an area that doesn't get a lot of love. Um, it doesn't get a lot of I think a lot of visits, and I, I, I'm not real sure why. It is not quite as rugged as some of the other areas, but it's got some some good spots. So my goal today is to just really explore this area more. Uh, I, I have spent some time here, but it's been years, um, years. And so some of the trails I'm going to run are going to be brand new. Some of the trails that I'm going to run are ones that, I mean, honestly, it's been nine years since I remember being on them. So I'm sure they've changed radically since then. Um, never made a video uh, on it. I don't think I've made a video in this area before. So, uh, but I have a, a burning desire to explore. If you've been following the channel for a while, you know this about, about me and Kara. And I, I want to be able to, you know, check off on the map that I've been down that trail. I know where that goes. I, I, you know, I know what's over that hill. And so that's just kind of the plan today. I'm just gonna wander around and see what I can find. Hope you enjoy it. This area has a bunch of small man-made reservoirs that are beautiful and there's camping around them in some spots. Uh, I think you can fish on them. Um, but there's, I don't know, four or five right here in this area. I'm gonna see three of them, I think. Maybe more, I don't know. I'm still exploring. But I, I, I just, they're, they're gorgeous. And I don't even know what they're used for. I'm not sure why they why, why they made the reservoirs. But this is a section. Oh wow. Oh wow. Check this out. So right around the corner, there is this killer campsite. Oh, this is massive. Oh man, I would love to stay here. I got a little swing over there. Oh heck yeah. So, I mean, this is what I'm looking for. Stuff like this, just finding new places to camp, finding beautiful views, finding new streams, new water crossings. Uh, this is why I just have this desire. Um, to go out and explore because I, I always want to know what's around the corner what's over that hill what's down that road what am I missing out on if I don't go um, you know a lot of times it turns out to just be a bust um, I mean a, it's not a bust because it's a gorgeous day in the woods but finding stuff like this that's why I go out because I'm gonna come camp here 
probably soon. This this is awesome. I have never been on this little trail before. Looks like it gets narrower. Looks like it gets uh, potentially for being rutted. As I went through that last little water crossing, which was a gorgeous little stream, I looked to my to my right and saw what looked like a little drop off. And check this out. It's a beautiful little waterfall. And look at this little stream. And there's a second one over there that doesn't have a lot of water flowing off of it, but some. But that's just gorgeous. Oh, that, I, I love it. Absolutely love it. Just, I, I found a, a little, little waterfall I'd never seen before on this beautiful little stream. Now, I'd love to come back after some more rains and see that second one flowing and get a photo of the, you know, what would be a twin, twin waterfall. But this is just, this little area is just gorgeous. God, I love it. So pretty. Well, that was slipperier. That's a hard word to say. Slipperier. I was slipperier than slipperier than I thought that was gonna be. I get asked a lot, you know, what what I air down to, what I recommend. And for trails like this, I am currently aired down to 18, 17, 18 psi. Which I mean I'm not doing anything super technical, or at least I don't expect to do anything super technical today. And on I mean I'm on 38s, so 18 gives me plenty of sidewall flex with 38 inch tires on the 17 inch wheel and it makes it nice and cushy and comfortable too so I'm, I'm an 18 if i was doing anything more technical i'd go down to you know in the in the national forest i'd go down to probably 14 or 15 at an off-road park i'd go down to 10 if i was wheeling any hardcore trails 10 12 something like that um, you may notice all the wonderful sounds of branches on the sides and top and that's just part of it in the Ozarks. You can't wheel in the Ozarks and be in love with your paint. I, and I do very much like the blue paint on Gladiator, but I think the scratches give it character. I, that, their, their memories, their, their natural pinstripes, they don't bother me. They, they bother some people, but they don't bother me.
I say it all the time because I'm still blown away that I get to do this for a living. But I, I know that I get to go out more than most. Um, it's, I know that because this is my job. And I love it. But I, I'm curious, when you have a chance to, to get out and about, do you prefer to, you know, to revisit the old stomping grounds and the familiar trails because that's what you know and you love those? Or do you feel this compulsion to go find the unknown, to, to go explore the new trails, to go see what you can find? Uh, let me know in the comments. I, I'd just love to hear your thoughts on that, what you, you know, what you get to do, what you get to experience. Because for me, I, I just find myself always wanting to explore and find new places. I, I've been that way since I was a kid. I grew up um, most of my childhood in the summers on the banks of the Arkansas River. Uh, my grandparents had a little cabin on the Arkansas River and the, the term for that was you know, I was a river rat and I had the freedom to, to go out and explore. I had my own little boat and I could cross the river and go to the sandbars. I could go out into the woods around there and just explore and you know for, you know, yay for the late 70s and the early 80s because freedom and I, I mean that was my childhood and it's still today is, is something that's a part of me and so no matter where we go um, if it's Colorado we spent the summer exploring new trails which was fantastic for me um, uh, that, that's what I love um, next month uh, in February me and my wife and Brad and Regina with Show Recon, we are meeting in New Mexico and Brad's never been there and I haven't been to this area that we're going to and we're going to go explore New Mexico together and I am super pumped about that. Um, very excited to go explore new parts of uh, New Mexico that I've never experienced because New Mexico is a beautiful state. Uh, it, gets, it gets overlooked a lot. So really pumped about that. But let me know in the comments what you know kind of what your what what drives you. Do, you do you like revisiting the old you know the old familiar the stomping grounds your favorite places or do you do you like to find find new things Now this section of trail I have been on before, but it's been six, six years, seven years. Pretty sure it was New Year's. We, me and the guys from Natural State Overland did a, a New Year's run. Uh, in 27, 
2017, 2018, or 2018, 2019. I, I can't remember. And we, we ran this trail then. I haven't been on it since then. I know there's a bunch of water crossings that are beautiful. And I, I'm very anxious to see what this trail looks like now. This trail gets a lot tighter than the other ones. Oh, wow. It's a bunch of cool giant rocks up there on the hillside big boulders that's so cool that is gorgeous When I ran this trail before, I was driving my black four-door Wrangler Rubicon, and I don't remember it being this narrow. First, I've only done it once, and I've slept since then, so I don't remember much of this at all. I do remember that water crossing. And I know there are a couple more, I think. driving trails like this in a vehicle the length of the gladiator you've always got to be looking at your back end and you're going around trees like this but this is very tight and you learn where your fenders are and how close you can get to trees to turn I get asked all the time or I see questions being asked all the time you know can full-size rigs make it in the Ozarks and in some places yes um, but trails like this it would be a very very bad day and I'm getting enough scratches on the gladiator and it's definitely not near as wide as a full-size truck so I can't imagine what the paint on a full-size truck would look like after a trail like this and some even tighter. I've been paralleling the stream for a little while now and I just wanted to get out and just take a look at it. It's, it's just so gorgeous. God. It is just so gorgeous here. I don't know how deep that would be over there. I think you get swimming hole. There's a nice little path down here to the, to the water. Not a campsite though. God, that's gorgeous. Oh, that was close. Oh, wow. 
nah, it's been fine. Just rubbed it just a hair. But, I mean, for, for one person, considering how little traffic this trail gets, this right here would be a great little spot to open the tent, string a hammock. Look at this. This is, I don't know, maybe 100 yards up from where I was before. Man, look at that. This is uh, just stunning. Absolutely unbelievable. I'm gonna mark this spot as as a solo camp or as a place to you know just come cool off in the water. This isn't a very deep creek, so I think you could hike it for a while. This is a good day. This is such a good day. There's a tree. That was gorgeous. Now, I know I always expect to get flack in the comments for going out solo like this, and I am very much solo. Uh, sometimes Kara comes with me. She did the last couple times, but that's still going out, you know, by ourselves without another rig. But um, I, I, I definitely don't recommend if you are not familiar with an area, if you are unfamiliar with the terrain, I, don't go solo. If I didn't know the Ozarks as well as I do, and know the terrain as well as I do, then I wouldn't be, be out here by myself today. But if you've been you know, following the channel for a while, whew, got a mud hole here. It's pretty good one. But if you've been, you know, watching the channel for a while, you know I love going out solo. It's it's one of my favorite things just to get out and a lot of times camp and it's just it, it's it's therapeutic almost. It's uh, refreshing. And so that's why that's why I do it. And I've got I, I just made a video on all my recovery gear. Um, I, I know how to use it I am well equipped if I was to get into a situation I uh, I could most likely recover myself and if not I have my Garmin in reach so I don't have cell signal right now but I have my Garmin in reach and could you know message my wife message friends so I, I could get help so I'm not uh, I'm not completely stupid just 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 a little bit stupid
one of the reservoirs. See a campsite on the other side over there. Looks like a great place for lunch. If I can get to it. Impassable during high water. Okay, if you have you know been watching the channel for a long time, then you know that's just a challenge. I mean, I, the Forest Service shouldn't put signs up like that because I don't want to prove it wrong. But luckily today is not uh, today is not high water, so it is definitely passable. But I also know it's a low water bridge, so I, I, I tried with friends, not by myself. See, low water bridge. Well, I made it over here, and this is a great campsite. I mean, huge firing. It is uh, next to the boat launch. There's a truck putting in a little boat over there. But what a spot. It's gorgeous. For lunch, I just basically brought a snack. I've got some jalapeno cheddar deer summer sausage. This stuff is so good. And then just some just some cheese. So so kind of an adult lunchable without the crackers. But yeah, the sausage is so good. It's been quite chilly today, but I got hot in my sweatshirt, so I took it off. But now the wind's blowing here, and I wish I had my sweatshirt back on again. My wife would be very proud. I'm drinking water. No cook today. I'm making an effort to to get to get in better shape. I've I'm I'm not I, I'm in a shape, but it's not the shape I want to be in. Hopefully, before we go to Moab. Hopefully, I will be in much better condition in two months. I'm also curious to know what y'all think about, you know, wheeling in wintertime like this. My wife, who's not here to defend herself, calls wintertime like this the season of death because all the trees look dead. Um, and she doesn't like it. Um, I love it because you can see through the trees. You can see the terrain. Um, I, I, I really like wheeling in the in the winter time with when the leaves are not on the trees but yeah, it probably doesn't make for quite as pretty videos as spring and especially fall so let me know i mean do you like wheeling in the winter time there's no bugs so that's a plus it is time to continue on I'm really really excited about the next two trails I've been on them before uh, one of them I've only gone downhill I've never gone uphill on it so hopefully that will add an element of challenge to it and then the other one I haven't been on since late 2013 and I'm not sure how much of a, a trail it is of HB County Road I do remember a water crossing on it so uh, I, I'm anxious to to see what that one's like now because obviously I haven't been on that in nine ten years um, so I'm excited
So back to that drive to explore and seek out the unknown. Um, it's, it's that drive that is pushing Kara and I to sell everything we have in three years when our two youngest graduate high school and go off to college and hit the road full time. Um, that's the motivation behind it because there's just so many amazing things to see and we don't want to miss it. We, you know, we don't want to get to the end of our lives and not have seen as much as we possibly can. And I don't know if that resonates with you or not. I don't know if you that, that just you know, sounds crazy or um, you know foolish or, or whatever. But that uh, I mean, that's the that's the motivation behind it. Is I, I, we want to just see more places that we've never seen before, and that's you know everywhere. Um, all over the U.S. There's so many incredible places here. We want to go down into Mexico. We want to go up to, uh, to Canada. Uh, we want to go up to Alaska. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not saying that in three years we're going to jump all in and sell everything and live out of our Jeeps and our, our trailer and say that we're absolutely gung-ho about everything. We may, six months into it, decide we hate it. Um, I don't know. But... The, the drive is there to, to find out, if that makes sense. Well, I'm back on the main dirt road through this area and zipping over to the trail I haven't been on in, in like 10 years. It may just be a boring county road. I don't, I don't really remember, which is why I'm going to check it out. I do have a vague recollection of a nice water crossing on it, so we're going to go find out. Well, here at the start, this looks a lot more like trail than wide graded county road so that's a that's a good i that's a good sign service road now and this is definitely narrower Something tells me this doesn't get used very much Now, I'm not sure I've said this in a while on camera, but I freaking love my Gladiator. I mean, this this is my favorite rig I've ever owned. 
I loved my Wrangler a lot, but this this is my favorite because I, I have this built to do what I love to do and go out explore. I don't have to worry about this this tree in the trail right here and whether or not I can get over it because I, I just did, and I don't have to worry about obstacles. I don't have to worry about hills. Uh, I mean, there's exceptions obviously, but. I, 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 it just takes me everywhere I want to go and so far I have not been denied going places that I want to and that's that's why I have it built the way that I do and I love it after those little mud holes have popped out into a logging area. Now this looks like death. I do not like it. Well, after that I am back on dirt roads and it's time to head home. I promised Care that I'd be home by five and I'm going to honor that request and be home early. But I have had an absolute blast today just exploring new areas and revisiting some old areas. And, and for the record, that last trail that uh, said I'd been on you know, about 10 years ago, don't remember it at all. So might as well be new because it was in my brain. So, But I, I hope you enjoyed uh, coming along on this adventure with me. I, I thank you for joining on this adventure with me. Um, I do want to make, I guess, one closing announcement. And that is, I mean, it's January now when this is being recorded. Coming up in just a few months in April is the Moore Expo. And if you've never been to the Moore Expo, it's up in Springfield, Missouri. So right in the center of the US, no matter where you are, it is worth the drive to, to attend the Moore Expo. Uh, it is, one of the most unique and coolest expos, um, off-road overland events that, uh, that that you'll go to. So, highly recommend it. There's a link in the description. There's a discount code down there where you can save 10% off your tickets, uh, and that includes the camping and everything. So, uh, highly recommend camping there. Uh, it's going to be a whole lot of fun this year. So. Good. Go go check out. Be at the more expo. We'll be there. Uh, can't we? Won't miss it. Um, give the video a like uh, if you did. Don't uh, you know? Don't do it if you didn't. And subscribe to the channel, please, if you are not. And if you like what we're doing and you want to consider supporting us and gain access to special content and events and all of our GPS data, like the trails and campsites and stuff that I, I ran and found today, uh, there's a link in the description for our Patreon. Go check that out and consider that. And for Ozark Overland Adventures merchandise, this is a brand new design. Um, Kara actually came up with this one. Uh, be an outsider. Um, go to shopoverlandapparel.com. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.